If you have been a Lightroom user already or you have been in conversation with photographers who use Lightroom, they might be talking about catalogs and collection and a lot of people don't understand the difference between what is a collection and what is a catalog. Let's take a quick minute to understand this in clarity. By the way, can I please request you to subscribe to this channel so that you get all the updates that we send. Uh, also, it's a good idea to hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications when we have new content. So a catalog is simply an assembly of all the photographs which sit inside a book like a catalog. So you could be having, a, a, for example, a, a couple of perspectives on how you create a catalog. If you're like me, you would be creating a different catalog for every trip. For example, I go to Africa, I create an Africa catalog. I go to India, I, I, I shoot in India, I create an India catalog. I go to Madagascar, I might be creating a Madagascar catalog. Now, inside of a catalog, I create collections. Now let's say I went to Costa Rica and in Costa Rica I photographed a lot of birds and some of them were toucans which are my favorite birds there and also the macaws which are really the most beautiful uh, which you can see in Costa Rica. Now if you think about this context a collection is simply something which is a subset of all the photographs that you have in this catalog called Costa Rica. In my example here let's look at my desktop. My desktop is actually a catalog of Costa Rica. I have 3,900 images here and it's a 2018 uh, Costa Rica catalog, but inside which I have a lot of images which need not be only toucans and macaws. There could be reptiles, there could be different things. Now, I want to actually go ahead and create a subset of my images of toucans into a toucans collection. So I've already done that. If I go ahead and see where the collections is, I can actually be creating a collection by saying plus and create collection. But this one is actually a toucans collection, which actually allows me to only separate out the toucans from this big clutter of 3,900 images. And I can be actually showing this collection to a friend and say, hey, these are my toucan pictures or my best toucan pictures. So a collection is actually a subset of images of what sits inside of a catalog. Now you can go ahead and create multiple collections. I have also created a collection to demonstrate what is called as the macOS collection. If I click on macOS, I'll actually be pulling and putting images which actually are macOS inside of this macOS collection. So you have no restriction to the number of collections that you can shoot. You can actually be creating a collection for telephoto lens pictures collection, wide angle lens pictures collection, birds collection, mammals collection, and the list never ends. You can go on and on about your perspective and your requirement of what kind of collections you can shoot. But there are also people uh, who actually create one catalog only, unlike me, I create multiple catalogs for multiple trips. There are people who create one catalog and they import pictures of all the trips, the Africa trip, the Antarctica trip, the Costa Rica trip, and the Tiger trip in Bandavgarh. All these trip images are imported into one catalog. Now, they differentiate a trip versus another by creating a collection called Bandhavgarh collection, Costa Rica collection, Antarctica collection. So it's completely up to you if you want to create one catalog and be inside of one catalog for the rest of your life, or create multiple catalogs and actually be using a different catalog for a different trip like I do. So it's completely up to you, but a collection is something which is sitting inside of a catalog and you can have multiple catalogs depending on your genre of photography. You could be actually shooting Raj and Savita's wedding and that's a catalog. You can be, you can be shooting yet another wedding of Joseph and Mary and that could be yet another catalog. Inside of Joseph and Mary's catalog, you can have wide angle shots, you can have photo pictures, you can have backlit pictures, you can have the reception, you can have whatever else that you want. So please look at collections as a subset of images that belong to a catalog. And you can actually create multiple catalogs or be inside one catalog for the rest of your life and create collections to separate images of different perspectives, in my case, different trips. By the way, if you want to learn more about how you can manage your images in Lightroom, you should be buying the Lightroom course that we have. And the link for that course is right below in this description. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Toehold TV.